Mm -hmm. Well, good morning. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Um, today, our movers are showing up and bringing everything inside, so I thought I would start another vlog because we're going to be unpacking, moving furniture in the house, and I'm excited. Finally, everything is coming together, so... If you're new here, my name is McKenna. I post vlogs. Um, I'm a mom and a working mom. Um, and I would love for you to join the community. So subscribe if you wanna never miss a video going forward. I'm gonna go change because I am like in my little like nighty. Leela is still asleep, but she'll probably be up soon. You can probably hear her monitor in the background. That's what that noise is. But we have this. We have this little kitty awake, huh? this morning. Millie woke up like 20 minutes ago. It's 7.45. You woke up at like 7... Twin. Twin. Huh. Like 7.20ish? Yeah. My mom and grandma are driving down. <coughs> they live, or up I should say. They live two hours away and they're going to leave at 8. So they're going to leave here soon and they'll get here around like 10. And they're going to help watch the babies while Joey and I like unload, unpack. I'm going to put everything away in the kitchen. I'm like super excited for all of it. So welcome to the channel and let's get this moving thing done. This is your playroom, Leela. Our truck's here. Whoa, that is very large. You see a truck? Okay, where are we going, Leela? Where are we going? Huh? Oh, you wanna eat? Okay, let's eat. Okay, you guys, it's so much later in the day. It's now 4 p.m. Millie is in her swing right now, but let me show you where we are now. The movers have finished unloading everything and it's all in the house now. And now we have to like kind of find places for everything. If we wanted them to like unload everything and we just would rather do it ourselves so we know where everything is. But we're trying to figure out how we want to place our couch in here. So here's the couch right now. We've tried a couple placements. We've tried like this way um, a couple different times and then this way. But basically the TV is going to go up there and then we have this sectional couch, which that piece goes right here. And then this piece goes down a little bit more, but we just can't figure out how to make it work. The table also was supposed to go the long way, which we had it that way. And now we've turned it because we feel like it kind of fits the space better. I don't know. Oh my goodness. That is just like chaos. I need to put away, but 
when we had the table here and then the couch over there, it just felt very lopsided on that side and then there was nothing over here yet. So I don't know, we're just still trying to kind of figure it all out. My mom and grandma drove down and they were watching the kids while we were helping the movers unload things. I like finished putting everything away not everything, actually I still have a ton of stuff, but I put a ton of stuff away in the in the kitchen while they watched the girls and then they just left. So we had Burger King with them, we bought them lunch. My grandma said Burger King sounded good, so we went to Burger King and then now we'll probably just be working through the like late tonight on trying to organize everything, get it in its place. And then Joey has tomorrow off, so we'll probably be doing kind of the same thing tomorrow. So I'm gonna be doing lots of unpacking the planes are flying over right now so it's really fun we were sitting out back and just like watching the planes fly over it's like super entertaining um let me show you leela's playroom though so we still have more to unpack but oh my gosh she's already like thrashed it my grandma and mom like completely organized it in here but and then we have to go through this box but um leela slides out her tunnel all of her toys and we're just, it was somewhat organized over there, but not so much anymore. <laughs> On top of that, our truck started leaking oil, leaking oil. And so Joey is having somebody look at that to see what's going on with it. So Millie just went down for a nap. You can't see her here. I'm gonna turn this down for a second. You can't see her here. Oh, she's moving. Oh no, did she not fall asleep? <laughs> she's so tired. So I'm gonna leave her in there for a sec. She's not crying because I hope she goes to sleep. But Leela is in here causing ruckus let's see let's see what she's getting into we'll go over here there she <laughs> there she is um this is her playroom so we have three monitors and i was like i want the third one in her room so or in her playroom so i can watch her while i'm out here in the kitchen i feel like it works really well joey just realized that he had the oil change not very long ago from oil can henry or jiffy lube one of them and they changed the air filter or whatever. I, I don't know much about cars, but they changed the air filter. And apparently the guy who just diagnosed the truck said that the air filter was bad or something like that. So Jiffy Lube said they would replace it for free at like no charge. We already paid for this guy to come out and diagnose it. So Joey took it to Jiffy Lube. They're gonna replace it even though this guy diagnosed it. And so he's fixing that right now, which is great. So then we don't have to, it was gonna cost like $700 or 600 and something dollars. But now we just paid the diagnostic fee. What was $200 and Jiffy Lube's gonna fix it. But Joey's not here and I wanna play around with the couch because I just don't like the setup in here. I wanna change it. It's something in here has to change and I don't know what. So I'm gonna move some pieces around. I don't wanna scratch the floor, but I don't, I don't think that I will. And then I'm gonna work on clearing off this counter because this kitchen, you guys, makes me so happy. This is literally like my dream kitchen. It's just absolutely stunning. So I wanna clean it off so that I can spend time in it and cook. Like here it is, it's just so beautiful. I wanted to do a two-toned. So the bottom of the cabinets are wood, the top is white and I'm just like obsessed with it. I'll show you guys again when it's like all picked up because it's not very cute right now. These are from Artifact Uprising, these pictures, all of those pictures, but I love the hexagon or not the hexagon. I love the um, chevron. I don't know what you call that. Um, whatever, the tile layout, I am so glad we did that. I also love, we paid extra to have extra tall cabinets, so I'm also super obsessed with that. And I wasn't sure, we went with one of the options the builder has and had for the countertops, and this was the best option, and I was a little skeptical about it, but I actually love it. I, I love this countertop, I think it's so pretty. And I was gonna hang these pictures up in the house somewhere, I think I told you that in the last vlog, or I don't remember but I'm actually loving them against the backsplash. So I might just leave them there. And then our view from our backyard is actually another neighbor's like backyard. So I feel comfortable showing you our backyard, I think, because I don't think anybody can find this. I don't know, potentially maybe. Um, but I'm excited for us to eventually do the backyard. Our backyard is pretty big. I mean, it goes like way over there. Um, it's bigger than we thought it was going to be. It's not like a huge backyard or anything, but it's like plenty big and it's like perfect for toddlers. And then Joey's trigger showed up, which I'm so excited about because I can't wait until he starts grilling again. I showed you guys this ghost earlier and I'm like so obsessed with it. I think I'll let it sit there. Um, so let's just, let's just see what we can do with this and then start putting more things away. I feel like this closes off the room too much. So I don't like this 
either. Surprisingly, I like the dining room table that way. It's not supposed to, it's supposed to be like long way, I think. Surprisingly, I actually like it like that, but I just don't know how to deal with out there. This whole situation, we also still need to get a carpet and a rug for in here. I don't like this either, so I'm gonna move things around again and see if I can find something better. Here's what we decided on. We're gonna leave the table this way and then the couch that way. Um, I think it looks pretty good that way. So here is the full thing when you're looking at the room. Um, I wanna get like an ottoman, is that what they're called? To like rest our feet on here, like a soft one since the kids will be playing around it and then we need to get a rug. I, am t I really wanna try ruggable. So if anybody has input on if they like it or not, because Leela just destroys rugs and we always have to like get new ones because they get dirty. Do you like ruggable? <laughs> so I'm thinking about getting one for this space and then like an ottoman for our feet. Tomorrow our TVs are gonna be hung up and hopefully cleaned a little bit more down here, but this is where we're gonna leave it for tonight. The kitchen, most stuff is put away. I need to wash all that stuff over there um, for organization and then just, miscellaneous stuff I need to find a place for. And there's the dining table. We have this like big chunk of room here, but I'm kind of okay with that. I think it, it looks nice. And then that goes in my sh like bathroom area and that will go at the bottom of the stairs for the babies. Hey you guys, it's the next morning and we're just doing more house stuff. Ow! We had um, the special packers come and unload and unwrap our TVs and Joey's piano and then I took the girls out of the house because Joey's mounting the TVs right now. Millie's not super happy at the moment. Of course I wouldn't be me if I didn't go get a drink. I tried a new drink. It's called Gravity Coffee. Pretty good. It's like an energy drink. I don't remember what this one. Extra terrestrial. I don't know what this one's called but it's really good. Orange, strawberry, cream in it. But we just went in to Target to get some cleaning stuff because our floors are disgusting. I need to mop them over and over and over again because they're just like my feet are turning black walking around in the house. So I have to wear shoes, but I'll do a little Target haul of all the cleaning stuff I got. This is a lot of stuff that I haven't used before that I'm going to try. So I'll just keep you guys posted. I haven't used the Cascade. Well, that's a lie. I have used it one time because it came with a sample and I tried it and my dishes looked so good after. So I picked up a big one of it and I'm gonna keep trying it and see if this is it or if it's the dishwasher that I was using because it was a new dishwasher and it came with a sample of this and my dishes were like crystal clear, no water spots, nothing. So I'm gonna try that. Um, I'm also gonna try this wool light for carpet, rugs and upholstery. Leela stains up everything and we're always scrubbing the carpet, the couch everything and I usually use OxyClean or Shout, just the like spray bottles of OxyClean or Shout and I also use that on all of our clothes. Whenever there's stains, that has been my go-to for getting stains out but I thought I would give this a try because this was kind of intriguing to me. I like that you just spray the bottle when it's on the rug and then just, or the, or, um, the couch or whatever and you just get the little stain out. So I'm gonna try, I've not tried this yet, but I love Bona, I use Bona. But this is just the microfiber sweeping pad for pets. It's got like an electrostatic action. I don't know about it, but apparently it's supposed to like attract cat hairs. Muffin's been shedding a lot, mostly because we haven't been great about grooming him because we just haven't been settled. So I'm gonna use this to try and get all his cat hairs up off the floor. And then we need to get back into bathing him, brushing him and grooming him better because He's been shedding a ton. Um, these, the Lemmy Shine, I'm gonna try these out. These are for the disposal cleaner. Oh, I should have double checked to make sure it's septic safe. Septic it. safe, okay. It says it's septic safe. We're on a septic okay. system. Apparently Puyallup is going to sewer and I'm hoping that happens soon because I can't fl like put hardly anything in the garbage disposal. I, I think we just have to be like way more careful. So, and then I've used these before. I love this scent. This is such a good scent. 
Mm, smells so good. This is the um, the Downy Cool Cotton in washer scent boosters. Love this with the moonshine scent. So good. Lastly, I got some Bona refill. And now we're going to head home. Joey is mounting the TVs right now. And I was trying to get the girls out of the house so that he just had the house to himself without the girls like touching the TV, breaking anything. Because the TVs right now are just like leaning on the ground. And Leela loves touching anything with a screen. So we don't want those TVs broken because there are nice movie theater room TVs. So I, um, I'll um i link all the cleaning stuff below too if you guys want to try any of this cleaning stuff. And I'll link some of my other favorite cleaning stuff. Maybe I'll just make like a folder on my shop my full of just like my favorite cleaning products. Not that I'm a pro cleaner, but I do have some favorite cleaning products. Thank you so much. You too. This is actually so good. <laughs> it's probably so much sugar in it. Hey you guys, it's currently Wednesday. It's Wednesday already, um, which kind of stresses me out a little bit because I fly to Denver on Friday, which I'll be vlogging that in a separate vlog, so make sure you subscribe if you wanna watch that. It's gonna be like a little work trip to Denver, solo mom trip. I'm just going by myself, um, flying out and shooting a wedding and a couple photo shoots. I have two photo shoots and a wedding. I'm getting really anxious about it, not because I don't trust Joey with the girls. Like, I 100% trust Joey. That's like not even the aspect of it. It's just, I don't know why I'm getting so much, I, I hate to call it anxiety, but I'm really getting so much anxiety with traveling, with traveling to Denver, which is, I am like the travel queen. I like love traveling, but I haven't traveled in so long. And I think it's like one of the first times that, not that I'm leaving my babies with Joey, cause I, I have left them with Joey and gone places for a night or whatever. And I've flown out to like California with my friend Cassie and shot photos for her um, business and stuff like that when she's speaking. Like, that's not the problem. I just haven't solo traveled in so long that I'm getting really anxious for it. And I have to be, it's a new airport because I haven't flown out of the Seattle airport before. Actually, I f we flew into it to come here, but I was with Joey and I can like, I just am a travel princess. I can like shut my mind off and not think about anything. And Joey just takes care of everything. <laughs> So I'm like really anxious to go to a new airport. I have to be there, my flight leaves at 5 a.m. So I probably should be there like a little bit after 3 a.m. I'll probably get there at three so that I have two full hours to like figure stuff out because I just don't know the airport. So yeah, it just, it like, I'm just stressed and anxious about it, but I need to pack for it today and like make sure I have all my photography equipment. I kind of want to meal prep some stuff just to make Joey's life easier. I mean, he's totally capable. I feel like whenever I say I'm like anxious to like leave the girls with Joey at, at, on TikTok or something, people are like, he's a dad, he should watch him. And I'm like, that's, that is not even it. Like, and he can totally feed him and take care of him. I just want to make his life easier when I leave. So I want to maybe meal prep a little bit and do some things before we head out. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the inside of the house because things look so much different than they did a few days ago. Like we have been doing so, so much. And Joey just, I just dropped him off at the train station because he's back to work today. I'm going to show you guys the inside of the house because it looks so much better and we've changed a lot. All right, you guys. So you walk in the hall and then come into the main room. So this is how we ended up going with the couch. I can't remember what I showed you last, but the long way is right here, and then it's a little bit shorter over there. We, Joey got up the TV last night, and his Clavinova, he got in, which I think it looks really nice over there. I think eventually we want to put cabinets underneath with, like, granite countertops and then floating shelves across the top. So that's, like, a long, long way down the road. And then Joey hung up all of these pictures last night. These are from Artifact Uprising. And the quality is so, so good. I might get a discount code with them. I can't remember. If I get a discount or a link, I'll put it below. Their stuff is so good. Artifact Uprising, they make amazing quality frames. Like they did all of this. They framed it. They put the, the what is this called? The white part behind it. They put the picture in on all of these and they just like look incredible. Unfortunately, we just don't have a ton of pictures with Millie in it yet. So this was how I got Millie up on the wall 
right away and then we'll have to add in some family photos later on down the line but yeah this room is starting to kind of look complete i love the view out back like we just see a bunch of trees and stuff and then we ended up turning the table so the table's now this way again but it's not centered with the light i think when we replace the light because eventually we want to replace the light we're going to have to move the light out a little bit because the table gets really crammed against the door so the table's pulled out this way and i almost want to push it this way a little bit because there's like a ton of space over here i don't know we'll see so we put the table that way. I think that that looks really nice. And then here is the kitchen. The kitchen is literally my favorite room in the entire house. I just am obsessed with it. I made some cookies last night. Joey ate a ton of them, it looks like for breakfast. But yeah, here, and then I think we might end up replacing these, not sure. And I've told you guys we're gonna replace that sink at some point or the faucet at some point. And then, yeah, I'm like, just loving how everything is turning out the next thing to tackle is leela's playroom it's like an absolute disaster we put leela's that needs to be cleaned off <laughs> leela's little table is right there so that's kind of where she eats her colors and stuff except for fireplace. the fireplace is on is that the fireplace so right now she's coloring this little chair i'll link it's so good you guys you strap it to your chair and it it's like a high chair. It just is so awesome. But the cool thing about it is it comes with a tray. So it can also be like a high chair, but I use it to like booster her up to the table so she can color. I'll link that below. Um, Cause I can't remember the brand name off the top of my head. Oh wait, right here, right here. Lalo, L-A-L-O. They have really awesome pool, uh, bath toys as well. So there's a lot of bath toys on their site and, that we use and that high chair turned into like a booster seat we use and stuff like that. So it's just, it's so, look at, she like sits Bring perfectly pencils. here. Bring pencil. <laughs> Another note, Princess Polly sent over so many fall clothes and I need to get myself ready today and I wanna film a try on haul for YouTube. I also just filmed a try on haul for CRZ Yoga on Amazon that hopefully will be coming up because I had a massive haul of CRZ Yoga that was so good. But you guys just look at these, look at these colors of clothes. Like I am probably the most excited about this these leather like vegan leather jackets right here another vegan leather like so much denim and a little sneak peek of the shoes so good okay so i want to do a haul at some point soon so my goal is to shower today if lila will let me and i usually just lock them both in the bathroom with me and i shower because the glass door is clear and i can like keep an eye on them and lila pretty much entertains herself. Like she'll just play with my stuff in there and it usually works out pretty well. So I'm gonna try and get a shower, blow dry my hair and get ready and then film that try on haul and shoot some content hopefully. That's the goal today. Obviously this is like my first day. Joey is, actually that's a lie. I did one day last week, but Joey's fully gone. Like he's been working remote pretty much since we got married almost. Not quite, but pretty much since we got married for the last several years and so it's a little bit of an adjustment for me too to have him gone, which I'm actually kind of excited that he's gonna be hybrid. So he's half the week he's gonna be in the office, half the week he's gonna be at home. Usually when he's been remote, like he'll watch the girls for like 15 minutes while I shower really quick, but I don't have that anymore. So it's just gonna be a little bit of an adjustment, but I'm not complaining because I feel like Leela's at a good age to where she's like starting to entertain herself and it's not so bad as long as I can just like keep an eye on her when I shower. Fingers crossed, we'll see if we can make that happen today. I wanna to show you guys my um, closet upstairs because I did a lot of work on my closet and Leela's room and Millie's room are not done yet. Um, we got a bunch of stuff for Millie's room that's on the way from Nestig, but I'll show you the stuff. We have um, Leela's room decorated with Nestig and it's also such an incredible brand. Um, so we went with Millie's room too. Um, I'm very, very lucky that they're sending all the stuff for Millie's room, but it only happened because I was looking in at buying all of this stuff for Millie's room and they were like, hey, no, no, like we wanna send it to you. So I love how these stairs are so wide too. 
I don't know what to do here, you guys. Like underneath this, I think maybe like a really thin bench and then this basket, I don't know. If you have suggestions on what to do in a like not very wide staircase area. So we're going upstairs. Here is, here's the loft area. We're gonna fold up this. This is like a guest mattress that we were using when we needed a mattress here. But we got the couch in, our second couch. Also, <laughs> I've been raving about everything we have, but this couch is from Macy's. I'll link it below. We have it here, and we also have the same exact couch on the main floor. It's just like one section bigger. And this couch, I swear by. This is like the best couch. I think we got it for around $2,000. I can't remember if it was $2,000 because it was like a Labor Day sale or something like that because we got this like three years ago and the couch downstairs we got like almost four years ago, but we love it. It takes, you have to break it in a little bit and then it's so incredibly comfy. So I'll link that below from Macy's. Um, and then this is our TV room. Joey hooked up surround sound, so he needs to get those speakers up there, but the surround sound is set up all over here. Games, um, workout stuff. This is gonna be just like a little hangout room. And then our TV, which is freaking massive. I think this is like 85 inch, it's like ridiculous, but Joey loves TV and movies. I don't really care for it, but he does. And then that was mine when I was a baby. Like, can we believe that? And now Leela's writing it. Um, my grandma painted it. it, used to just be wood and it used to have a tail. So I kind of want to spruce it up a little bit. TJ Maxx, <laughs> but I think it's time to put it away because it's no longer summer. Okay, our closet is crazy right now because all of this stuff down here needs to go into a dresser so i'm looking for a dresser right now i don't know if i want to just buy one used off facebook marketplace or if i want to buy one new i'm still kind of going back and forth on that plus millie has been sleeping in here and we've just been leaving the door cracked at night because her room we're, we're not ready to transition her into a new room yet um but she doesn't need to sleep right by my bed anymore so we're kind of doing this in between thing for i think my sake anyways here's all my jackets and coats and sweatshirts I think I need to downsize a little bit because this is this is out of control. Speaking of CRZ Yoga, you guys, this is CRZ Yoga, right? Okay, check it. CRZ Yoga, Lululemon. Like, do you really tell a huge difference? Because I don't. Anyways, um, okay. And then my wedding dress is back here. All of my dresses up to here and then shirts bags I still have a ton more shirts to hang up and this is insane I need to clean up my closet that might be a future video but these are all like workout clothes actually I'm like embarrassed to say that but these are like all workout clothes we got our bed together late last night and I was so exhausted and I have still not found our fitted sheets for our bed so I just threw a sheet on and we slept on it like this but at least our beds together I need to find some end tables like really bad. Um, I, again, I don't know if I'm going to find them on just Facebook marketplace temporarily, or if I'm going to buy them new, I don't know. Um, and then I really wanted to paint this before we put it together, but I didn't. This is Joey's at home office right there. And then also our guest room. This room is so much bigger than I remember it being. It just feels really big. Like Joey has a massive desk and it fits totally fine in here. We got our printer in here is like craft stuff my nail stuff to do my at-home nails and just organization. And then our guest bed, I need to make it still. I have the sheets in the wash right now, so I'm washing those. This is my desk back here, and we were thinking about setting up my desk here and having two desks in here, but I don't really need a desk because I just kind of work wherever I can. Just as being a mom, I'm usually just like at the dining table or in the kitchen working at the counter, like I or I leave and go to a coffee shop and work, so. I don't really need a desk, but we're thinking about setting it up. Here is the girls' bathroom. <laughs> I'm gonna start potty training Leela, so if anybody has tips on potty training, please let me know. We've been putting it off until this move because I've heard that kids will regress um, when you move. So we just have been avoiding it because she is very much ready. Like she tells me when she has to go to the bathroom, so she's ready, it's just we need to make it happen. This is gonna be Millie's room. So we put her bassinet in here because we have the pack and play set up, but we're going to swap that out tonight because we just got it set up. I hung this up last night and put all Millie's little bows. I need to fill this for Leela. I don't know why I never did, but that is so cute. Anyways, Millie's crib is going to go in here. These are like my Poshmark boxes. I need, I'm thinking about just donating them and getting rid of them. Um, but if anybody wants anything on my Poshmark, I have a ton more stuff potentially to post. I'm accepting 
all reasonable offers. Like anything somewhat reasonable, I will accept and ship it out immediately. This box is daunting to me because it's like a lot of miscellaneous stuff like socks, um, like something, what is this? To hold Millie, like a little carrier. Just very overwhelming. Another little carrier <laughs> right there. So slumber pod, Millie's room is, I kind of want to lime wash it and make it pink in here. So we'll see. But at the moment, this is Millie's room um, and she doesn't use it yet. But once we get all of her stuff from Miss Nestig, that will be the case. And then Leela's room is completely blacked out. Um, we're gonna black out Millie's room after I decorate it. <laughs> Leela's already gotten into her stuffed animals there, but we need to put together the rest of Leela's dresser. It broke, so Joey's gonna fix that. And then this is Leela's crib. This is from Nestig. It is beautiful. I love this crib and the dresser matches. So these are both the cloud crib, cloud dresser on there. I'll link them below. They're so good if you're like in the market it, for like a dresser and stuff for your toddler. They're incredible. Um, very, very high quality, durable. I will say that they are a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for. And this goes from a bassinet, like it's like a small mini crib, and then it turns into a crib, and then it turns into a toddler bed. So you get three beds in one. It's like thousand percent worth it. We we're thinking about swapping her to a toddler bed too. But everybody I talk to is like, no, 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 keep them in the crib as long as possible. But I feel like with potty training, I don't know. I'm new to this whole thing, but I feel like with potty training, you kind of have to do both. I don't know. Um, and then this rug is from Nestig and it's washable. You just throw it in the wash. It's good to go. It's so cute and beautiful. And in the closet, I've kind of started hanging up their clothes. So these are like Millie's. They're going to go in Millie's room. Millie's clothes. Leela's clothes and then I have to show you guys I'll link these below too but where is it oh my gosh look at like that little outfit Millie these are from Bisbee I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but they just sent over these cute little sets so this is for Leela here's the dress it's so adorable so this dress for Leela and then this for Millie like, are we kidding? It's like a little um, onesie romper thing. And then in this pattern, the same thing, that cute little dress for Leela, and then matching for Millie. Like, they're gonna wear one of these Sunday. Those are so, <laughs> so cute. And then this dress for Leela. Um, I think that'd be so cute with like little cowboy boots or like red boots or something like that. And then this was Leela's blessing gown. If you know, you know, this was her blessing gown, but I don't think it's gonna fit Millie because Millie is so much bigger than Leela. And then Leela was a fox for Halloween last year. So we still have that little costume. My mom made that costume and it's just super cute. So anyways, Leela's old helmets, burp cloths, um, blankets up there. These are like clothes that don't fit either of them, but will fit one of them one day. So, <laughs> okay, I need to get back to mom life. Isn't this just so cozy with the fire going? Okay, you guys, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see the haul, the Princess Polly haul and the CRZ Yoga Amazon haul that will be coming. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like this has been a longer vlog, plus I have like three or four videos to edit at this point and I'm so behind. So I'm gonna end this vlog and I wanna vlog this weekend when I travel. So I think I have my work cut out for me. <laughs> plus I have a couple weddings to edit, so yikes. She's gonna be busy. So I'm gonna take the next couple days off and then I'll pick back up vlogging in a few days. But if you made it this far, I love you so much. I seriously cannot thank you enough for your support. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.